Ready to roll? Yes. To a new bit of coast that we haven't been to before. Oh, bloody chicken. Chicken was trying to come. Get out of here. Uh, off to a new bit of coast that we've never been to before. Um, hopefully we can catch something. Maybe get to have a bit of a catch and cook. But we'll see how we go. Let's hit the road. It's a bag of tea in my wallet. Tea? Yeah, tea bags. Oh, yeah, yeah. tea bags. Um, no? Yeah, we've got a box inside. No. Right, we've forgotten the tea. We'll go and get the tea bags. Um, and what else? And milk. My wallet. Oh, you will need milk from uh, Foursquare too. Yeah. Let's try that again. <laughs> Gotta have that. Later, bro. Be a good bird. Be a good spud. Excited? Yeah. New bit of coast, something else to see, it'll be pretty cool. Me too. So we we are here yeah. and then the crayfish bay is just this little bay here this one here you can go by car oh true through the mountains yeah you cross oh, that's pretty cool go to here. what's that one called Matakua. that looks pretty cool too so that's gonna be really good from the wind i guess i reckon we'll leave crayfish bay for last at the stage then. yeah because it's closer Sweet. everything let's do the long drive let's roll yeah, long drive because it's raining and then we do the walking mm -hmm. and hopefully the rain stops. <laughs> Me, let's do it. But I have a rain jacket, so <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Yeah, this Wait. place is too good, so we've come straight back to the car, basically. Um, we got down to the beach and I realised we're going to want all the fishing gear, all the rods, um, otherwise we're going to be coming back in a minute to get it anyway. Well, I figured if we went down there now with, without the fishing gear, what was going to happen is in 10 minutes it was going to be awesome and I was going to send Juliana back to the car. No. <laughs> so, a couple of sinkers, thanks to the bigger bag, so I can fit more stuff. Oh, baby, I wasn't filming. Nothing. The usual trick. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, she's so funny, my Juliana. Yeah. Oh, the rocks. Probably a lot of rocks. Look, get it. I go in the track. <laughs> uh, it's so good, it's not hard. Can't find any like good food, we can eat some of the snails. Let's have a look around here, let's go around this one. We finally made it out to this point we wanted to have a little bit of a look at. Pretty beautiful looking spot. Let's see if we can find something to eat. This is a beautiful little gutter in here. So I'm just going to put a couple of casts out into this clear patch out here. And I'm just going to let them sink down a little bit and then work them back up this gutter. Just in case there's a squid just chilling in there. This one there is my favourite. See all the marks on it? Mm -hmm. Is it from the squid? All those bites. Really? Yeah, those are squid bites. Wow. So they've got a sharp little beak. <clears throat> so when they grab it, they damage the, the cloth on the outside. Right, let's try that one. A knife, babe. Okay, so I've just changed over to a little a little soft bait. So that's a white warrior soft bait from catch. So hopefully that'll do the job and get me one of these car wipes. Bit of 
a shower. That beautiful rainbow there. What is there? Cowboy, whoops. <laughs> Woo. It's rainy. <laughs> yeah. See it coming? Put behind yeah. my soft boat? Yeah. That thing there, yeah, I want to catch that. A whole heap of leather jacket. It's actually quite tasty little eating food. But, uh, I need a different hook to be able to catch them, but the, the hook's way over at the car. And I don't think I'll be able to convince Juliana to go back to the car for me. So after all of that, I uh, ended up needing something from the car, and Juliana very kindly is going to go back to the car and get it for me, eh, Ju? Yeah. You're a legend. I'm going back to the car. You're a legend, Ju, are you? But I hope I find a track this time. Yeah, hopefully. See you soon. It's a big snail. She's up there somewhere, I can't see her. I haven't managed to catch any other fish. Um, well, Juliana was walking back to the car, so I decided I'll walk along this, uh, walk along the rocks a little bit and meet her on her way back. Um, she's gone to get a, a different rod for me and um, some smaller hooks because there's a bit of an unusual fish that's hanging around where we were fishing. Um, so I'm going to try and catch one and I'll show you guys what it is and we'll cook it up. It didn't take too long. And it's beautiful. You're going to see on our way back. Oh. Oh, whoops. You're going to see me on our way back. Maybe. It's real, real good for squidding along here. I might go that way back. Did you see that rock on the other side? Not yet. you want to go have a look? Yeah. Yeah, I'm starting to feel starving. <laughs> oh, low tide pretty much now. So we'll catch these fish and then we'll grab some kinners. Um, so I'm going to put a tiny little piece of bait on this size 2 hook and hopefully I'm going to catch one of these leather jackets. Now, most people aren't interested in eating leather jackets but they are quite tasty little fish. So um, I'm gonna catch one and that's hopefully gonna be our lunch. So all we've got today is a bit of pilchard. So I'm gonna use this tiny little piece of pilchard. There's my bait, but I'll just see if I can get these guys interested again first. They were just hanging around right in the shallows here. Grass, that's a different fish. Here they are, see these three? Oh yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. one of the wrong ones. <laughs> Which fish is that one? That is um, a tiny little meow meow. World's smallest catch. Oh. Oh. And with the hands. Yeah, I know. On my neck. <laughs> She's so close. Got him. <laughs> I knew I could get him with the bloody net. I can't believe that. Being difficult to catch with a with a hook. And so I tried to get it with the net and hey presto. Now there is our super awesome leather jacket. And that's what I was after. I can't believe that I could catch it with the net in the end. Now he's a super weird looking fish. And most people aren't too fussed about these. These are a throwback species for most people. But these are secretly very good eating. So he's going to be our lunch. He is beautiful. He's got a face only a mother could love. Teeth are super sharp, those teeth. It's uh, not a good place to put your finger. Let's see if we can get another one. There's another way to catch a fish. A trusty butterfly net. Oh, that is a big one. Let's try and get that one. Um, there's a super easy way to prepare them and I'll show you guys that not too long but how good is that with the old net, the trusty net I think we'll keep that bigger one and we'll let that littler one go yep. catch 
kept its eye. It's a good size one. Mm. If there was a few more that size, I'd probably grab a feed. But most of the rest of them are quite small, so another day. The ultimate tool. Look at that. Free sinker. Always keep your eyes out when you go fishing for a bit of free tackle. Hey! Got him! Hey, beautiful big kinner. What is this one here? This thing. Yeah. Some kind of a snaily thing. Long, uh, never seen that. No, I've never seen this thing too. That's pretty cool. What is that, people? It's pretty cool. Hopefully, somebody can comment. I mean, we've got those other limpet things that have like armor stuff across them in straight lines, but I've never seen one like that. Mm. It's pretty cool. We'll pop them back down this little gap. <laughs> it's a nice track. Food on the go, bun and tuna. Mm, he is just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. On to the next spot. Let's go. I know them, they're friends of mine. So they said I can come and take lemons whenever I need to. Let's get out of here. Get water in your gumboot. <laughs> Unlucky. Can you hold that now? He's lost his point. Hmm. Here's our little leather jackets that we caught earlier on. Um, now, not very many people eat these, but they are actually quite tasty little fish. There's a real easy way to prepare them that a friend of mine showed me, so I'll show you guys how I do that. We're going to cut from here just behind his eye down and just through his backbone, and we're not going to cut all the way through, we're just going to stop there. So just down to there, just down to there, and then I'm going to stop, and I'm going to pull that forwards, and rip that off, and with that comes all the guts, so all of that comes off, and it just leaves you with this piece here, and there's the row even, so I'll take those row off, because we'll cook those up as well, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the skin off, so you grab a hold of the skin, and you just peel it back. And once you, you can just sort of peel it off. And once you get it started, you can peel it around both sides. And you should be able to peel the whole thing off in just about in one piece. There you go. So then the last thing that you do is you just trim off these fins and chop off the tail and then you've got yourself a beautiful piece of meat and it's just got the centre bone in it which is quite easy to eat around. I'm just going to quickly whip the scales off this little kawai that I caught as well and whip the guts out of him and prepare him for eating as well. So just quickly rub that with a knife, whip all those scales off. Try and be quite thorough because I'm going to poach him. Um, we're going to poach the fish today because we've uh, Believe it or not, left the pan at home. So last time we forgot the pot and this time we forgot the pan, but um, we'll poach the fish in a bit of seawater and that should be yummy. I'm gonna cut the gills out as well. Now for that one there, I'm just gonna cut the tail off. Give that to the seagulls as well and I think probably just cut it in half so it fits in the pot nicely looks pretty good to me just gonna get a little bit of sea water and then we'll cook up our feet it's a little bit too breezy to cook on the beach today so we'll uh, do it in the back of the luxury cruiser so let's turn the gear on all right let's bang our delicious feast on there Real simple, 
just fish and salt water. Absolutely delicious though. If the ingredients are fresh enough and good enough ingredients, you know, they speak for themselves. So sometimes simple is good. Yeah, let's have a look at these kinders we got out. One each. Yeah, delicious. And? Paru is. <laughs> oh. oh, that one's not bad. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Pretty good, eh? Mmm, nearly ready. That's a car way out of there. Mm. It's not bad, eh? Mm -mm. Mm. How did you get so much sand in the water? Because... Well, it's hot bro. Wait a minute. Blow on it. I hope you blow on it. Oh, we don't even have cups for cup of tea. <laughs> we are so not prepared today. Hell, we can't have a cup of tea. <laughs> we don't have where to put the tea. Look, this one's more tender. He is tender. He's the fish, they mm -hmm. tender. What is this? Different fish. Much better. Impressive. I'm saying to you. <laughs> saying this is not his fault? No. <laughs> saying it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> She only got quite a bit of sand when she scooped up the water, I think, somehow. It's a little bit crunchier than it should be. It is delicious, but... Yeah, yeah. It's just a little bit crispy, yeah. Here's the delicious row from that um, leather jacket. Now, for a leather jacket, that's a pretty fat row. And it's nice and creamy, so I'm pretty looking forward to this. Mm. Real good. It'd be better on toast, but delicious. <laughs> was an awesome day babe thank you i had fun it was awesome as i didn't think i was going to catch those two uh leather jackets with the net that was a bit of a highlight for me um i hope you guys really enjoyed this episode a bit of a fun day out for us me catch you guys soon Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little notification button. We're also on Facebook if you want to check us out there.